Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> it's your girl Sabrina, and I haven't been on YouTube in quite some time. So I know a lot of you guys that follow me here on YouTube uh, is probably like, you know, where the hell she been? What she been doing? What she been up to? What's her health like? What's her weight loss journey like? Shit like that, you know. Um, so one thing I have been doing, I have been working on my business, which is my Etsy shop, which is Precious Pots. Um, that's the name of the Etsy shop. That's I've been working on that. I've been really concentrating on that and picking and getting my business off the ground. But what I've mainly been working on is my journey, my weight loss surgery journey. So um, if you guys don't know, um, for those of you that don't, <clears throat> for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, I am having weight loss surgery. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, please, the link is in the description box. Please go over there and follow me on Instagram. I will be documenting a lot of my journey on Instagram, like a lot of the pictures and things like that you guys are going to see on Instagram. So please follow me over there. Um, it is Lock Looney Tune on Instagram as well, um, just like it is here on YouTube. I will be coming through and talking about certain things that's going on here, mainly on YouTube. But as far as pictures go <clears throat> and day to day updates, they will be on my Instagram. Um, anyway, I am having uh, gastric sleeve surgery. Um, and uh, I have been, believe me, this is not something that was some fly by night decision. This is something that I have been thinking about for just about a year now. So over a year now, I have been thinking about it and I have been going through the process for over six months. So this is not brand new, maybe brand new to you guys, but it's not brand new to me. And I recently was approved, um, by my insurance company. Um, they're going to cover my um, gastric sleeve surgery. And I am so happy to say that I finally, after doing everything and ripping and running and doing everything that they asked me to do, I got my surgery date. My surgery date is October 22nd um, of this year, 2019. Um, I have to be at the hospital, George Washington Hospital in Washington, D.C., and that's where I'm having the surgery. And the, my surgeon's name is Dr. Paul Lynn. And I am super excited. Like, I'm very, very excited about this because I haven't, right now, my weight is 326 pounds. I am still, I have not gone over 326 in so long, but I have to get down to under 300 pounds again so um i am starting even though they told me i recently went to which was yesterday i recently went to my uh pre-op nutrition class and got my bible this is my bible this is a folder that i'm pretty much going to need for the rest of my life i think and um everything everything is in it everything that i need to know pre-op post-op long term everything that is in here it's in here I got this yesterday as well as a bunch of samples and things like that but I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit but um I got all of those things um and it made me a little nervous I went to the class they told me all the things that I should expect and uh I'm still a little I mean they tried to make you feel a little bit more at ease but um I'm not scared I'm not scared at all. What I am is a little nervous. And the only part I am nervous about is uh, keeping foods down and things like that. That's pretty much what I'm, you know, nervous about is how my body is going to react to certain things. And then my vitamins, I'm worried about that as well. Um, and recently I was in the hospital you guys don't know this, um, but if you, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will know um, what was going on with me in the day to day. Recently, I was in a hospital um, because I had a bacterial infection, and it took a lot out of me. 
Um, I was also anemic. I had some sciatica problems. It was it was really bad. Like it was really bad. Like I was in a bed for three days straight. So um, it was it was difficult, you know. But now that my levels are back up again, I'm don't want, I'm glad that they took care of it then because now before I get my new labs done to go into surgery, everything will be okay. I feel great now. I feel so much better. Um, but I, I am excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited to get started. I'm excited to drop the weight. <laughs> that is probably the most exciting part about this is watching the weight fall off of me and having the weight motivate me, my body changing to motivate me to do better. That is what I'm um, looking forward to. Uh, I don't, you know, I, it's just, it's so hard to realize this because I haven't been below 200 pounds since high school. And I'm 45 years old. And I was in high school like, I was 15, 16, 17, and I was under 200 pounds then, and that was the last time that I was under 200 pounds um, that I can remember. Uh, I, I told myself, I've been on this journey for a long time, like I've been, on this weight loss journey, and I started it on YouTube years ago. I don't even remember. I'm, it's over. It's been over five, I think, six years, six or seven years actually that I've been on YouTube. It might be even more. It might be eight. And um, and when I first started, I was on um a weight loss journey when I first started, and I'm still. I mean, it's still never ending. And I tried to lose, and tried to lose, and I would lose. Then I would gain it back, and then I had um, physical problems, physical issues that hindered me from losing weight. Um, so basically, this is the reason that I'm having weight loss surgery now. I mean, the older I have gotten, you know, the less I was able to do. Um, I had jobs, you know, that my physical aspect, it just made it worse, made it worse hard for me to um, be mobile and lose weight and it, it just got worse over time so now I'm having this surgery um, I had thought long and hard about it and now I'm just getting ready for the process to get started I wanted to let this be the very first video that you guys see about my um, gastric sleeve journey because this is pre-op time this is for me this is soon I will be starting like I'm going to get ready to start my pre-op diet, my pre-op liquid diet. Um, once I get everything that I need to get for that, I'm gonna start that and I'm gonna come through and show you guys about that. I actually went, I actually went to Dollar Tree and your girl was buying little stuff, you know, buying little things because I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, put a lot on my stomach. So I got my little bowls, this little sippy bowl. So when I have my little chicken broth or whatever, and I put it in my bowl, I could just drink straight from that. It got a straw attached. Like I done bought little things, um, little containers for my meal prep, or when I'm, um, you know, in my soft food phase, like I'm gonna be in a liquid food phase. I'm gonna be in a pureed food phase. I'm gonna be in a soft food phase. And then I go to my regular foods. So I'm just trying to get prepared to for a life-changing event, which this is. This is life-changing for me. So um, I got some small baby utensils, you know, something to, you know, just help me, you know, through the process. I got me some teeny little cups. See these little cups? Ain't it cute? I've never seen red cups this small. They are so cute. Look how small they are. And I got these, you know, to help with my intake as far as how much I'm going to be able to hold. And um, I got little containers. This holds, this little container holds like 2.5 ounces. But actually, um, what I, my stomach is only going to hold like half of this, really. It's only going to hold like about that much. My belly is only going to, once at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like once surgery is over, 
in the beginning, that's how much my stomach is going to hold. It's not going to hold anything. So most of these things are for long term. I got a little sippy cup, you know, for me to get my water in so I can continue to drink water and stay hydrated throughout the day. I don't want to get dehydrated. I don't want to be like falling out and fainting and stuff. Um, this little thing comes with a little snack thing at the bottom so I can hit my protein snacks or whatever in here. Like I'm really excited about changing my life. It really is important to me that I do this. And, um, and truthfully, like my advice for anybody that's thinking about um, gastric sleeve surgery or any kind of weight loss surgery is don't do it if you ain't ready. Don't do it if you're not ready. That is probably my number one piece of advice for you guys. Like, don't do it if you're not ready for the commitment. I mean, if you've done everything, if you feel as though that you've done everything that you can do to, you know, lose weight and you feel as though that you're pretty much, everything that you're trying to do is not working and failing or whatever the case may be, and you think this would be a good thing to, for you to do, um, do your research and then, you know, but if you're going to believe me, because this is non-reversible, like once you do this, this is a commitment, this is a lifelong situation and I'm tired of being fat and that's just the case, you know, that's just the end of the day thing for me, you know, I'm tired of being fat, I'm tired of being overweight, the shit is really fucking up my health, I now have high blood pressure, you guys didn't even know that. Because I hadn't, I haven't been here. I've been medicating myself. I've been, I've, I've had high blood pressure. I suffer from depression and anxiety, shit like that. And I'm going through a lot of shit. And, um, you know, one of the things that helped me get deal with my anxiety and stuff was the job that I was working. Where I was working at, it was full of shit. It really was. It was. It was terrible. Like that place took so much out of me it changed me it turned me into someone that I did not like and I did not and that was terrible like I did not like the fact that somewhere where I was working turned me into a person that I did not like and that took a toll on me as well and and it took a toll on my weight you know had me eating all kinds of stuff you know just to you know soothe myself which is not good for me to do but not only do you have to you know you have to change your habits you have to change your mindset as well and um I'm there you know right now I'm just there I've been there for a while I've been realizing you know I kind of love this I got my bible this is what I got this is the um the book that I got from my nutritionist and it tells me everything I need to know and I have been since I've got it I've been reading it and I've been trying to read it from cover to cover and flipping through it it is um my bariatric book I love this thing because it, it's gonna help me throughout my life um now let's talk about um pre-op I'm gonna talk about my pre-op diet real quick and this video is already long enough, so if you ain't trying to sit here and watch the video, don't even worry about it. But the video going to be long because, one, I haven't been here in a while, and, two, I need to get this initial video out so you guys know exactly what I'm going to be doing. And then every video after this probably won't be as long until the day of my surgery when I start vlogging on the day of my surgery. So my pre-op diet. My pre-op diet is basically going to consist of, like, three protein shakes and then a sensible meal that's it that is it other than water and stuff but three protein shakes and a sensible meal and it will be that for i think it's supposed to be that from the 30th on you know what i'm saying like like i'm supposed to like from september 30th my my surgery is october 22nd so they want me to start doing that, that pre-op diet on the 30th of September. But me, I'm going to start it. I'm going to try to start it before. Because right now I am 327, 326, 327. And I want to be under 300 pounds before I go into surgery. And the reason why 
is because I want my liver, it will shrink my liver. And shrink my liver, the thing about it is your stomach is underneath your liver. So if your liver is is smaller, then you can, then you, the, the doctor can easily see your stomach when they do the surgery because they're doing it laparoscopically. They're doing it with a camera and everything. So they'll be able to see your stomach better if your liver is smaller. So there. So that's what I'm going to be doing as far as my pre-op diet is concerned. Post-op diet, it's... I'm not even going to talk about the post-op diet really so much because it's a little... The post-op diet is a little bit more. The process is a little bit more. And I don't want to talk about that until a little later. So, but after... But let's see. Let's talk about... I want to talk about my vitamins. What I'm going to be taking... In addition to my post-op diet, trying to get my supplements in, which is the most important part for me, is making sure I get my nutrients in and my my vitamins, my supplements, and shit like that. So now, when I went to my nutrition classes, they gave us some samples and stuff of some different, you know, vitamins and things like that, protein drinks and stuff. Now you guys already know that I love this i think i came through before and told you guys how much i like um premier protein clear now the other the shakes i don't mind the shakes if i you know because they're easier to find you know what i'm saying if i gotta do them i'll do them i don't have you know what i'm saying i really have no choice like i said this is a lifelong situation but if i have my choice if i have my choice i would choose these these are the premier they're like they're like juices to me. They're Premier Protein Clear. They have 20 grams of pro- protein in every bottle. Um, it is 10, 10 grams less than the Premier Shake, but they taste so good. And I could get these down. I know I won't have a problem getting these down. I don't think like I'm going to get sick with these because it's clear. And, um, and it's good for a clear diet as well. You can use this for a clear diet um now as far as the vitamins i've been looking and researching different vitamins i was looking into the better melts uh website as far as getting better melts dissolvable vitamins i was looking into other um vitamins like um there's another type of vitamin patch where you put it on your body and it absorbs through your skin but I also saw these, like she, um, my nutritionist, she gave us a sample of these Fusion Complete Nutrition Vitamins. These are the ones I think I am going to get. These are Complete Chewable Vitamins. And I'm just gonna read what it says on here. It's um, an all-inclusive multivitamin that supports all of your daily vitamin needs, including calcium, and iron no additional vitamins are needed five great tasting flavors mixed berry orange cream tropical wild cherry and strawberry and i have a sample of each one of those different flavors so what i'm going to do now when you buy the bottle when you buy the bottle let me show you guys when you buy the bottles right here these are the different bottles of the different flavors each bottle has 120 uh, vitamins in it. And with the gastric sleeve, I would be taking two tablets two times a day. And I would get 120 tablets for $26.99. Um, I think that's reasonable. I mean, that's I think that's reasonable since I'm only going to be taking two a day. And the thing about it is is that with these you get everything you need in this tablet you take two of these and you good to go for the day that's my kind of idea like i ain't trying to be taking a whole bunch of pills i already take a bunch of pills like seriously i already take a bunch of medications and i'm not trying to be taking a whole bunch more and the fact that my iron i can get iron in this too and you guys know that i'm an i um i'm anemic and um it's important that i get my iron so then and the calcium as well um especially for women 
we have a tendency to get like really brittle bones and bone deficiency, um, calcium deficiency when we have like um, weight loss surgery and stuff. But I think I'm gonna taste these. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do them right now, but I'm gonna taste each one to find out which one I like the best as far as the flavor goes. And once I figure out which flavor I like the best, that's gonna be, I guess, the first vitamins that I buy. Um, they told me that they didn't want, really want us uh, eating chewable, I mean, not chewable, gummies. They said they really didn't want us eating gummies. They said it has a lot of sugar in them and um, they didn't want us eating them. And I'm like, okay, fine. Even though right now I am taking a gummy in a B12 form, and I'm going to continue to take that B12 um, <laughs> gummy until, at least until my surgery, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I take a B12, I take B6 right now, I take my iron pills, and I take uh, a multivitamin. That's what I'm taking right now, and I've been taking that for a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. I mean, I'm just so, I'm just super excited right now. I just wanted to come through and tell you guys that I was super excited about having this surgery. Um, and please, please, let me just, I'm going to just say it right now. I'm going to just say it right now before the bombarding people come through with all these reasons why I shouldn't have the surgery. Please don't do it. Don't don't even don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your breath telling me, nah, you shouldn't do it. Nah, you should go, you should you should do something different. Nah, I'ma tell you, I've already made up my mind. So there's nothing that you guys, really, there's nothing that you guys can say to change my mind about what I'm doing. So before you come through in the comments, and this is no disrespect, it's just I've had it before. I've had people come to me and say, well, no, nah, you shouldn't do this. Until you walk up, until you walk in my shoes, you can't say anything. You really can't. You really can't. And even if you have walked in the shoes of mine, like even if you had had surgery and it didn't work for you, you know what? That's you. It didn't work for you, but it may work for me. So you can't come through. Please don't come through with the whole negative aspect of why I shouldn't do this and why I don't do this instead and what I should do and this that and the other because truthfully the fact is it's a bunch of damn doctors on YouTube who don't have no medical degrees that's all I'm saying it's a bunch of people that's coming through it this is me this is what I'm doing I'm doing it for me my body I'm happy with it I'm gonna be happy with the whole situation I mean even if I'm not happy with the whole situation it's my decision. It's my decision to make. Please don't come through with the negative stuff. Because really, later for that. I ain't with that. I've never been with that. And truthfully, nine times out of ten, if you come to me negative in the box, I'm just going to block you. Because I ain't got time for negativity in my life right now. And I don't have time. If you ain't trying to come support, yes, just be like, all right, I ain't supporting. And then be about your married wife. But if you are, I welcome the support. I welcome anyone who's been with me. If you haven't been on my channel before, welcome to my channel. And if you have been here, welcome back. But I am not here for the negativity. That's just me. And you guys know that. And if you've been rocking with me for years, you guys know I don't play that. I ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? So... Like I said, come check me on YouTube because that's where I post my day-to-day. -day. I post my YouTube stories all the time. I'm always talking about stuff, posting shit over there, talking about everything. And, um, yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to holler at you guys in my next video. All right? <laughs>